What is good family? Ice Age Beats here in the studio. Today we're talking about mixing. Before we get started, go ahead and download the Simple Mix template. This is a template that I created in FL Studio for just mixing. Honestly, you should just go ahead and just download this and I'll, I'll show you exactly how to save it and all that good stuff in your DAW. But this is a great, you know, just simple template you can use when you start making music. And whenever you start making beats, use this template and it's gonna give you kind of a framework for, you know, kind of setting you up to have a good clean mix. Of course, this stuff, all this stuff in this template, all the plugins I'm using, they're all stock because I didn't want to use third party plugins. But of course, you can use third party plugins. So, very simple, the mixing template is, um, it, it looks like this, it's very, very simple. Let me first show you how the template, uh, how you can access the template very easy. Uh, so you have the template downloaded, um, saved somewhere. You could just save it anywhere. For me, I have my templates saved in a template folder. But, um, but yeah, so all you have to do, very easy, after you download this template, it's gonna be an FLP file, right? It's gonna look like, like this. This is actually what it is right here. ICHB's mixed template, basic, that's it. Right, so it's gonna look like that. You can save it, save it in your desktop, save it in your documents, it doesn't make a difference. I would definitely save it somewhere where you can access it, just in case you need it, right? And uh, I'll explain why in a second. So, what you wanna do is just go to your PC, right? And go to your program file, 986, just regular program file, right? Right, and then go to image line, boom. Go to FL Studio 20, or whatever FL Studio version you're in. Go to data, I believe, yep, templates, boom. And of course, you're going to have all these templates. These are already provided from ImageLine for, uh, you know, just when you buy or download FL Studio, right? It's already in there. And you just drag in the template. Just drag it right on in. I just drag it right here. I don't make a folder. I just drag it right on in. Boom. That's it. Once you do that, you can do File, Open. I'm sorry. File, New from Template. And it should be down at the bottom like that. Boom. And you can just hit, you know, whatever this is, open it up and it's gonna be here. Now, the key to, or the cool thing about this is saving it in the templates folder is going to allow you to create projects and save them as, you know, as such, right? If you open up the FLP that you download, that, you know, the download, it's gonna open this up, but it's gonna be, that is the project, right? You don't wanna mess with that, right? So put it in the templates folder, long story short, that way it's a template and Whenever you start making beats, you can save as or save, and it'll, it'll create a, basically a project, an individual project with whatever you got going on, and you can basically open up another project with the template again, and it's not going to be over. It's not going to have the same stuff on it. It's not going to. It's not going to be one project, and I hope that makes sense. This probably sounds confusing, but basically, just just drag and join the templates folder, and you're good. Okay, so we are good. Um, let me break down this template real quick. So we have our master channel, of course. We have a simple. Uh, fruity balancer and a soft clipper and uh, that's gonna allow us to you know you know keep a good master a simple simple master and, you know we're not doing all this other stuff with these plugins and all that crap we're not doing that boom very simple right then what we have here is well you see the blue all these blue are melodies all the green are drums and they're all rattled to a bus and the buses are right here drum bus melody bus right so all of our drums when we start making ki like adding kicks adding hi-hats we're gonna layer them in from 12 on right so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever, however long we have, however many we have, right? And we're gonna route, the, they're gonna automatically be routed to this bus, right? So this bus controls all of the sounds in here. Boom, it has control over all the sounds. All, I'm sorry, all of the drums, right? So if you adjust this volume here, all the drums will drop. This is gonna allow you to easily make adjustments, like simply make adjustments with all the drums or all the melodies, right? So um, of course you can, you know, mess with the individual drum too, you know, within the bus, right? But the bus right here is going to allow you to just overall, take the overall volume of all the drums and drop them down. Same thing with the melodies, right? All the blue or melodies, they're gonna go route, route, they're gonna get routed right to this melody bus right here. And you can simply just adjust them right here. We also have some compression applied to both of these and that's gonna help glue the sounds together. And then we have the 808 baseline and slash baseline, whatever you choose, if you want a baseline or 808 or both in the track. This does not, it's not on, its, on a bus, it's on its own sound and, uh, or own layer. There's no, it's not bust or routed to any bus. Um, and I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to throw it on a bus. I, I've, I've noticed that I've just leaving it on its own track and adding its own compression and things like that. It helps to keep, um, it just keeps it, keeps it clean. I, I, it tends to work well with 
the stuff I'm using uh, or the stuff I'm mixing. So that's what I decided to go with. Uh, and like this is the probably the only thing that has like some stuff on it already. We have a fast distortion, which is stock. You can use like Sasha's fattener, which I'm gonna use. And then we have an EQ, simple low pass, uh, or it's a high pass. It's cutting out the lows or the highs, and it's a simple, just EQ sweep kind of deal. I didn't want to add too much to the, you know, to the mixing template because I want it to be, I want it to be very simple. I think mixing can be overcomplicated. There can be all these plugins, all these things added to your mix. That's not really helping it, especially if you don't know what it does, and it's just really just mess, messing up your mix, right? So if you have good sounds like we talk about all the time on this channel, you have great resources like we talk about all the time on this channel, you don't have to worry about all these, you know, having all these plugins and all these crazy things to add on to your sounds to make them sound professional. You just don't need it. Now, I will say, the more you know, the more you want to get into adding more things, you know, that add, you know, that add certain, you know, type of sauce or type of feel. I'm not saying like limit yourself and just don't do anything. What I'm saying is having a great foundation of basic, simple mix, knowing what needs to be done, and then adding on top of that. That's the philosophy that I have, right? So, hope you enjoyed this video, breaking down the mix. I think this video, or I know this video right here alone is gonna help you to elevate your mixes and uh, take you to the next level so you can start cooking up, um, it, you know, mixing crazy beats that sound amazing in all speakers and all systems. And, you know, it's really impactful for those that listen, like, yeah, this is fire, right? That's what I want for you. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, go ahead and get that mixer template. I'll see you next week. Peace.